What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Manhattan's Voice, NYIT's hottest podcast. I'm your co-host, David Gustavo Contreras, joined by... Nicole Miranda. And Julian West. And, uh... The special guest and first female of the series... Woo-woo! Nicole Menendez. Ta-da! Yeah, yeah! Finally, not a sausage fest in here anymore. Now we actually have... Yeah, yeah we, we did not do that intentionally. Dude, when she brought it up, she was like, oh, finally, a girl was like... Oh, we good, a good point. We a girl, good point, but we didn't do that intentionally. Yeah, I feel no. like I have to up my game about like bringing more girl viewers because I feel we like should. It, on, it's, we should. It's Come on, so be more inclusive, guys. Nicole. Jesus. No, we Liz we really should. That's a good point. No, definitely because I was talking to like one of the girls and they were saying like, yeah, I would really like continue listening, but you know, David. Ooh. Oh, whoa, David. <laughs> no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, David and Julian, you guys talk about like guy things, and then like I'm like here just sports, football, <laughs> New York. Yes. <laughs> Fantasy football. So I'm like, which we all get into. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, a whatever. lot of things have happened. I'll but, up my um, game, guys. I'll bring more girls on the yes. podcast. Yes. We, no, we really ladies, should. Ladies, please, idea. please <laughs> make your voices heard. Come on the show. If you wanna join, join. Okay. All right. Never mind. Yeah, we Thank got you. Nicole Thank leading the way. One. So yeah. Thank you for, get going. for joining us. Yeah. Um, Thank how was you for having me. Oh, oh, okay. Our pleasure. So, so do you want to recap your week? Yeah, for yeah. Us? usually we let's go for our guests girl. first. Yeah, Ew. ladies, ladies first. How was your week? The first and cold. Let's go. Come okay. On. <laughs> um, my week was really fun. It was very eventful and <laughs> it was very jam packed. I can't think of it at the top of my head of what I did. So jam packed, mm. you can't name one thing. <laughs> Not one. I feel that. Single um, thing. I get that. I feel these. I feel these. Oh well, it's Tuesday. So what I did last week. Hmm. I really, I'm, I would need to check my calendar. And then, and <laughs> she is so jam-packed. She's a busy lady. Yeah, she's a busy lady. <laughs> Probably, we stand. Yeah, losing track of stuff. We stand. <laughs> Look at just just give me more editing to do. Losing Look, it, track of stuff. Just, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? It's fine. We love a busy woman out here. Um, yes. So is there anything you're looking forward to this upcoming, like, next few days? Thanksgiving a- break? Thanksgiving break. Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, you're looking forward to Listen, Thanksgiving. Listen, calm down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to be spending it with my family okay. and yeah, uh, I have three older sisters. One of them lives in Texas. Wow, so geez. my two, four. she was yes. just in Texas. Baby. Yeah. I was just in Texas. Oh yeah. I saw your post. Yeah. San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Never been there yet. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Yeah. Wait, where, where in Texas? Um, I think they're going, they're going to move to Houston because oh. oh, there's, nice. they're somewhere there now, is. but I don't know Houston's where. Houston's popping off right now. It's nice right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. I wouldn't know, but thank you. for I have a buddy know. living down there. Like he says, like the scene is like pretty. Dude, pretty Houston's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> Houston's <fucking laughs> Julian, the, like... the scene over there though is rad. Man. <laughs> dude, come down to Houston, bro. No, yeah. I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I um, bro. Come on, come on down, party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else besides family? Um. Oh, there's gonna be a climate strike oh. on. Uh, Black Friday. Ooh. Yes. Well, you guys, you guys are, are gonna off. Be there? Black Friday. You guys are off on Black Friday, so lucky you guys. Black mm-hmm. Friday is a meditation, so it's um. it's less a strike and more about like people getting together to be like, oh, yeah, on. this is happening. We're coming together as a group. We're gonna meditate on the climate and wish that, like, as a species, we can make things better. That's that'll show that's big oil. <laughs> Was that? Was that, a, was that a snarky remark? No, no, of course not. Do I need, <laughs> okay. do I need to teach you a lesson? Stop, we'll calm down. You will teach me a lesson, yeah. so I'd rather move on. Um, <laughs> All right, anyways, And we'll, we'll get to the, the yeah, other strike event. later on. Um, Julian. Let's, no, 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 let's continue with, with the, the okay. female Ladies streak Ladies first, please, Nicole. How was your week? Oh, I'll put you in the head. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was really good. It was eventful because, uh, like, eventful you know, as well. Nicole, I eventful literally weeks. always say eventful that. Eventful weeks for Nicole. I always say that. So you know what? Great minds think alike. I went to Texas. I saw Elizabeth graduate. Mazel tov to her. Yes. Congrats. Um, Congrats on graduation. Congratulations. Yeah. So, yeah, it's so different because, like, I'm so used to, like, her being, like, you know, exactly kind of like me and being, like, oh, like, whatever. But now she has to, like, follow rules. Yeah. Now and, she's like, a soldier. We yeah. can't. She can't jaywalk. She, <laughs> she, can't, can't, she can't jaywalk. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we had to walk so far for the sidewalk. Um, and then there is, like, you know, she has to wear her hat outside. And then inside she has to take it off. Like, everything has to be, like, you know. Like speak and span, like you know, to details speak and, it, and span. yeah, whatever. Um, People but it still was, say that. I was, know, but I just I don't know. <laughs> sure. It was a nice experience. Now I know where I don't want to live. Don't want to live in San Antonio, Texas, because it's just not what I'm used to. He's really like, dragging, dragging San Antonio, Texas. It's a hot desert. It, no, no, 
really but it's just like i'm so not used to being in texas because i was yeah, never you're I, not, you're not a first, southern girl yeah definitely not, not like a that southern at, least. Girl at all so floridian you know, but not that southern. yeah no, no 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 so but it was a nice experience i like to know other people the hospitality is really nice everybody's like yes ma'am no southern sir comfort. But, yeah so it was nice then i came back i went home finally was in my bed and How was your um flight? it wasn't that bad yeah, last time you slept like a a corpse. Sleep a little better this time. Yeah, I d- actually I didn't sleep on my way there because I was doing like a Demonte's editing video for another shout out to uh, Paul Demonte. Thank yeah, you very much. He enjoyed our last shout out. Yes, so. he did. Oh, yes, cool. Did. Heck yeah. Oh, I. You guys gave me a shout out too. I, yes, we did. I, I, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes. What? You know what? That's what I like. Well, well, we shout episode? people out, and then I think it was two episodes ago for No Stress Tuesdays. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and we all went to No Show Tuesday last week. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I did that on the plane there. And then on my way back, I knocked out for like 40 minutes. And then I woke up Where and I was fly? just like, United. That was good. That was you good. time travel again? Yeah, time travel. One hour heck back. Yeah, Doug. Heck yeah. One hour back. <laughs> and, I, and then when I was like coming back to Jersey... It wouldn't like change on my phone. And I was just like, why is it Come not changing? On. You know, <laughs> Thanks, <just> Apple. <laughs> <laughs> as everyone around me has, has I- iPhones, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. I, I don't care. I obviously don't care. But it was good because you know what? <laughs> sounds I, it sounds like you don't care. <laughs> I'm most excited for today at 7:15. I will be going to the movie theaters to see Waves because I've been wanting to see it for so long. <laughs> And she's, I'm gonna see it. She's yeah. been ranting about this really movie good. It does for look so really long. good. Yeah. I have not heard of this movie. Until yeah, I have she not heard about, about that. <gasps> Sterling K. Brown. It's like some like drama. Of course it is. About if what? Nicole's going to see it. Shut up. <laughs> I don't really know. Like, I have like, like, like father and son, and it's like it's sad and like the upbringing of this kid. And like, regardless, I really you should really watch the trailer. The trailer's really good. It has like Frank Ocean, Godspeed in it. That was my watch. Yeah, who's gonna watch? Anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm most excited about. And then, like, going home to see family and, like, my siblings and my parents. So, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to your mom's for Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, and my dad's because, like, they live, like, two blocks away from each other. Bodacious. Back to Jersey, baby. I mean, I live in Jersey. Sorry. Back, back to Jersey. (laughs) Back, back to where I was living at two years ago. Anyway, that was wonderful, that's, that's grandma. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Julian, how was your week, sir? <laughs> um, if you say eventful. <laughs> it, we'll was, know it, was eventful. it was so Wait, I chock go again. full of events. <laughs> it was jam-packed of, in, I think she said in, that. of life happenings. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, I, yeah. She <laughs> said jam-packed. I thought that was So jam. we have a limited vocabulary on this uh, show. Yeah, we're really struggling. I had a um, plethora of things I did. Yeah. Oh, a plethora. <laughs> plethora. A plethora. A plethora. A plethora. Myriad. Oh, wow. Um... What did I do last week? What did you do? I finished Amante's project. Which oh, thank God. It came out very um, well. I, saw I had four minutes nicely. of footage, and the day of the class, I had to cut it to two minutes of footage. Uh, over it over was here. fine. He, he does this every time. We had a two-minute um, documentary to make. He made it ten minutes, and he had to cut it down to two. Yeah. Ten, was it ten Ooh, minutes? Wow. Yeah. How did you ten manage minutes, that? To I cut it just, down so much. I, I, when he, I when torture you're myself. I don't think, I I do. think even he knows how I do He's like, I'm trying to, like figure out other life stuff i have a, a film to shoot before the end of the semester um you're getting <laughs> actors in order revising so my script and like it's it's a lot like, i'm doing like or, all I'll, the pre-production if you don't hit me this time i'll act for you again Julian. don't worry i will you um, don't make me bleed like people time. like i feel like when people are from like the outside and like are not in our major they're like oh it's so easy like what you have to like write a script and like watch a movie it's like no yeah. Who thinks that? I don't a, know. Lot yeah. a, lot that. a lot of people think that. A lot of people are ignorant and are like, oh, you're, you're like... ignorant. <laughs> com is such an easy major, but like if you really want to like major in That's com, just in comparison to like other stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, no, but working. still, even like I... I feel like there are a lot of like cocky people. If you're not doing like the most, mm-hmm. then it's not worthy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I really trying to trying to survive, trying to sleep more. Well, you know what? Um, Turkey Day is here, so. That is true. Uh, Does everyone here celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes. Yeah, okay. definitely. It's not a part of my religion, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, looking forward to this this short break and just collapsing. If anybody needs it, it's you, my friend. I, I well deserved. I'm definitely gonna appreciate it. Heck and, yeah. Yeah. Pounds um, and turkey. And again. Um, <laughs> Black Friday. If you're not, if you're not busy, I don't want to talk. If you have, if you have time in the afternoon, um, Black Friday meditation 
uh, starting at the Fifth Avenue New York Public Library uh, at 12 p.m. sharp, and then we're going to walk down to Union Square and have our little meditation. Uh, I think the guy that's leading is named Shay Rister, I believe is his name. Um, this episode comes out at 5 p.m., so they're not going to... I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. I hope to have seen you there. Um, but yeah. No, you mentioned it I'll last still be episode. Dying at, I'm I did. Sure. I did so mention if, it last episode. Yes. So, so I'm, good. I'm good. You're I'll good. be crying at um, work when this Nicole did her homework. She was just like, damn, they got me on now for the past three episodes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, looking forward to that. Looking forward to the climate rally, which I will detail in a bit. But my week is, it's been okay. Plans for Thanksgiving? I'm, I'm alive. Uh, I think we're going to my aunt's place, as Ooh. we usually do. In LA? Yes, in Long Island. Long Island. Boop, boop. We, did the represent, math. Represent. we did the math, and if I were to go to David's house, or, or like in Long Island, it would take me two hours and 32 minutes <laughs> to get there, and I would have to take three different types of transportation, the L I R. And like a bus, too. <laughs> That's what happens. The, the LIR, three trains and a bus. <laughs> the metro and the path train and tears. You'd literally be going across, like through New York City, like out in one side and out the two other. Bo- literally two bodies of water, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Yeah, so definitely not going to Long Island ever. Yeah, don't there is that. literally no excuse to go to yeah, Long Yeah, you ever. don't need to. Nobody yeah. needs to go to Long Island. Um, but anyway, our, our resident Long Islander. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Shout out to there? my Long Islanders out there. <laughs> I love um, when David eats the mic. He's like... Blah, blah. Yeah, uh, it's fine. My week was pretty good. I won in fantasy. I beat my mother. Shout out to uh, Saquon to no one. That statement yeah. alone does not sound yeah, so good. Um, I... I um, I defeated my mother in good. fantasy football. There How's that go. wording? Is that better? That's okay, better. good. I love you, Mama Contreras. Yeah, I love you, Mama Contreras. I'm so sorry for what's happening to you. I'm so sorry that he is your. She had an awful like. We we are <laughs> weird. We week. are living in an alternate reality when it comes to sports right now. Yeah, like, Jets are winning. The Jets are winning. Uh, the so Giants how are falling your apart. Day, Nicole? I have no idea what you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> literally, please, I just like, please continue. Jets won. I'm happy about it. Fantasy, I won. Just, I'll keep it trim this time. Thank you. Um, I'm working this uh, Black Friday, f- nine to five. Good Where luck. do you work? Vans at Roosevelt Field Mall. So Ooh. it's gonna be earth shatteringly awful. Our prayers are with you. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough, but screw it. I'm gonna have. I'm, there's a my mom's throwing a Christmas party like on Black Friday, so as soon as I get out of work, I'm just gonna. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas party. Really early. I said that the is same really thing. Early. I said the same thing, but hey, you know, it's her Christmas party now. Christmas party? Mom. Question mark. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so it's technically holiday season. Right? Very early. Very, but you very know early. What? Hey, we're, we're very, we're very, fu- we're very early people. You so. know, we're we're here for it though. You know. You guys are invited if you're in Long Island. Uh, I won't be, but <laughs> if you guys want to take the three-hour ride, to Long Island, no, come on down. Um, it's okay. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm gonna get drunk after work, and it's gonna be awesome. Good for because you. Because he's of age. age. Because yeah, he is of age. Yes. age. That is true. You never know. Um, Has anyone ever said anything? No, but I don't I'm think just, so. You know, we just we're like just to clarify that you're not our age, so you can drink. Yeah. I I did wonder. To all the cops it. out there, yeah. Because yeah. on your yeah, because yeah. on your Instagram, I'm uh, I'm an old man. Yeah. So he I was is like, thirty hmm. years I'm old. I'm not thirty <laughs> years old. I'm twenty five years old. Thank you very much. Closer to thirty. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I'm in my mid twenties. If you round, yeah. If I round up, if we're rounding that far, then yes, at five, so it's it's ten. <laughs> that's how you round. Yes, that's how you round. <laughs> I learned right that off. when I learned it um, in the fourth grade. <laughs> Maybe. So we're gonna run through this week's Wait, events. I wasn't I'm gonna. I wasn't oh, done. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was okay. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Why are you gonna do this? Thing? Oh my god. I'm like... gonna run through this week's <laughs> events real quick. So um, real quick. Obviously, quick. there's nothing happening. Over the break, we're on break. Just I hope not. Hang out with your families, chill, eat some food. Be thankful. Uh, be comatose for a little while. Or um, <laughs> Literally so fall into a coma. <laughs> the week we come back, um, December 2nd, there's the annual Winter's Eve. Back? Yeah, to Do get your degree, to? you kind of uh, have to come back. Degree, <laughs> degree. I don't Show need me. a degree. Uh, December 2nd, uh, the Monday we come back, is the annual Winter's Eve at Lincoln Square. It's I think it's like a parade or a show or Ooh. something. But Boy, Winter parade. Um, that it, that's going to be from 5.30 to 9 p.m. Mm. Then we have uh, the return of No Stress Tuesdays on Ooh. Tuesday Ooh. during free hour in 26 Western 408 right 408 okay she nodded um, for all those who not watching oh yeah <laughs> so we're gonna be back with that uh the week we come back then also on that tuesday is the world aids day presentation that's in 16 west the 11 4 auditorium 12 45 to 2 30 p.m uh little description is world world aids day is held each year on december 1st 
Why is it December 3rd? I don't know. Uh, on December 1st, to unite like people fart. worldwide Sorry, to support... that was not a fart. That was <laughs> that me. That sounded like a fart. <laughs> that was just I apologize. <laughs> Let me, let me get back to my reading. Yeah, uh, World AIDS Day is held each year on December 1st to unite people worldwide to support the fight against AIDS and to commemorate those who have died. A local LGBTQ center will be visiting and setting up an education booth. That's actually really cool. Where? Uh, 16 West, 11th Floor Auditorium, December 3rd, 1245 to 230. Ooh. What day is December 3rd? That is the Tuesday. Okay. Also that Tuesday, also that Tuesday. is the episode hey, 20 live podcast. Live uh, that's going to be in... The EGGC third floor library. We're going to be in that big glass room. Um, we're going to be set up there, actually recording our episode from there. Um, we're going to have Jesus okay. Christ. We're going to have a lot of people. Uh, I made that poster it's uh, really nice. with Hold help from video. Isabella. Um, we're going to be there, literally recording our podcast live. Uh, we're going to be bringing people in to ask questions, introduce themselves, talk to us, just hang out for a little bit, and then we'll cycle people through. Um, and we're That's hoping, a lot of editing in your we're, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> and we're hoping to have uh, a little like small workshop on the outside where you can like learn how to make social media content, and also some like digital design knowledge as well. So, looking forward to that. Yeah. Please attend. That's the EGGC Library third floor from five thirty to seven thirty next Tuesday. Two hours. I, that's just the time frame. We'll, we'll see how long it goes. Okay. But, um, no, I mean, we'll we'll get to mingle and joking. meet some people. Well, it didn't come across. Our pizza? autograph booth will be next Maybe. Door. We'll see. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you want autographs, bring... Uh, bring Jazz wishes. Snatch a poster off the wall I'm and we'll sign so it. I'm so glad that you I cannot totally see our it. faces in here. Why not? Because it's just like, we you know our this is us. plastered all over. Yeah, exactly. That, I feel like that's so obnoxious. See, the thing is though... No. Julian you guys represent. Kind of like yeah, you can tell which one is yeah. me. You, can, you can tell who's who. Obviously. You kind of big. Me, luckily, I wore a hat, so you can't really tell. The hair, the glasses, that's me. Like collar shirt. The collared collar shirt. shirt. Yeah. Yeah. My cheekbone, you can t- definitely <laughs> tell. That's my that's cheekbone. That's totally my eyebrow right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you um, can see your eyebrow. So moving on. Okay. Um, <laughs> on Thursday, December fifth, from twelve thirty to two p.m. is the AEC Success Seminar. That's in twenty six West, room three fourteen. Uh, if you're looking for positive academic changes this semester, uh, if you want to learn tips and tricks that'll help you succeed, the Advising and Enrichment Center's Success Seminar Series, wow, will help you learn how to turn current challenges into future successes. That's a Topics twister. that will be yes. covered include academic support services and resources, growth mindset, and SMART goals. Again, I don't know what Not SMART goals, stands for. SMART goals. SMART is an acronym for something. Yeah, I don't high know what IQ it is. goals. Uh, but all students are welcome. Please attend if you're looking for and tips and tricks. And then we have a workshop. First of all, she just pointed, and literally we, looked right at me as you said that. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Yeah, and we do home. also have another workshop that day. Uh, actually, I'll get to that. Um, there's another event that day uh, called How to Get to Grad School uh, from 1245 to 2 p.m. in 26 West in the Career Services Conference Room. Uh, so you can meet with graduate admissions and learn more about applying to graduate school, New York Tech's graduate programs, scholarships, and financial aid. So if you are an like approaching graduate, like if you're approaching a graduation and you're looking into graduate programs at New York Tech or just graduate programs in general, that is for you. Um, again, that's Tuesday during free hour, um, or Thursday, sorry, uh, in career services. So look out for that. And our workshop is also on Thursday during so free hour. So go to that one. <laughs> like I said, just a quick um, rundown of the events. <laughs> that is also quick. in the EGGC uh, in room 305. It's that big glass room once again. Um, and you can come and learn how to get started making your own podcast. If you guys don't show um, up, can't so promise cool. to be better than ours, but you can definitely run a podcast. We, we are going to be there, and we'll just be like running through the process of getting started, like deciding on topics and graphics and names and getting set up with like a distribution service because anybody can do this all that kind of Literally. stuff so we'll be yeah, running yeah. through that if we could do it you could do yeah it. If, if if we can do it you can definitely do it for sure um <laughs> so yeah uh please we'll, come we'll in funny though please attend <laughs> our workshop again that's free hour uh thursday december 5th in the eggc library the third floor um and our last event for yeah. next week is the Winterfest Silent Night Party. Um, six to ten p.m. Silent disco. It's six to ten p.m. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Can you cut her mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. Is that her? 
Hello? Is that her mic? Hey, you can still Wait. hear me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now her mic's off. You can still no. hear me. <laughs> okay. Um, Friday, uh, 6 to 10 p.m. in the EGGC First Floor Library is the Winterfest Silent Night Party. Uh, you can join student engagement for our annual winter party, including a silent disco. There you go. Oh, Gingerbread right? station wow. and supreme candy selection. I've always, wanted, I've always wanted to do a silent disco. Additional Me too. Professionals I've always wanted to do a silent disco. And this event is sponsored by the Office of Student Engagement. Nicole Thank you, is Office breaking this room. <laughs> no, that was an accident. <laughs> Thank you, Office of Thank you, Office of Student Engagement. Kick me again, Nicole. Um, please don't break yeah, our Yeah, no, table. that was no, that it's was fine. <laughs> no, no. Um, let's go to the silent disco, guys. I've always wanted to go to one. All right, let's go. <laughs> we'll try and make it. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's the events for this week. Meet potatoes um, down. But now it's time for the lovely special guest. Oh, sorry. Wait. Wow. One more event. One I more apologize. event. So what event? Right. The most important one. <laughs> what? The climate rally oh. on oh, Friday, yes. December 6th. What time is it at? Uh, I believe it's noon to 3 p.m. Oh, okay. So uh, it's going to be wait. taking place in front of City Hall okay. downtown. But um, wait, if it's noon to 3 on, a f- on this Friday? Next no, Friday. Next Friday. Oh, I was about to say, bro, why are December you saying that? No, yeah. December 6th. December 6th. Gotcha. Um, I don't even know what day it is. I purchased this some... This is I purchased some eye black, so I'm going to have those... You know, like football, like Ooh, lines yeah. under my eyes, and I'm gonna make a poster. Oh, you're so very poster excited. Be. Yeah, what is it gonna uh, say? I have some, I have some great ideas. Okay, so I, I guess I'll talk about it. Um, one side, I don't know what the other side is gonna be, but like one side is gonna be um, like the phrase at the top is "You can't take it with you," and it's gonna be um, like a a skeleton in a suit chained Eddie. chained to a money Eddie. bag that's like at the bottom of the ocean. So uh. it's like. Okay. You may be rich, but you can't take it with you because all right, we're no, all going to drown if you don't do anything about the climate. Okay, that's it. So you're putting Eddie on your poster. Why the, why, why, why yeah. the black then? Because I just want to look intimidating. Ooh. <gasps> Already done. <That's>, yeah, <laughs> wow, thank you. That you're makes gonna, me feel much one better. Dude. Take okay. out the glasses off and just scowl right <laughs> Be like, I can't see you, but I'm... Yeah, what are you, what are you looking at? Are you looking at me? I'm yeah, sorry, definitely. Because I can't tell. That makes me feel much better. Thank you, David. Um... All right, now so to yeah, the meat and potatoes uh, yeah, of the show. Yeah, let's, let's get past that line? now. That's my line. Um, All right, David, say I'm, it again. I'm going to put another link for, like, RSVP for the climate rally Dumbs in the description. Yeah, thumbs yeah. Um, all Nicole, right. it's your time to shine. So, your time to shine, yes, doggy. Thank you. We have a guest. She's here, uh, Miss Nicole Menendez. She's uh, very busy. Stop once a, throwing. Hello. Once again, please. thank you for coming on the show. Yes, thank yes, you thank for, for having joining me. Us. Our literal first female event, which is kind of a shame. For the first female guest. That's almost 20 episodes in. I mean, I've been begging you guys to have a girl. That's kind of a shame. Uh, we so can stupid. we can do better. We can do better. But thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Um, 100%. Can you, we'll pay you later. Can you give us a little, like a brief <laughs> Run rundown down. of like what you do on campus? Okay. Jake, do you want me to start? Okay. So I, well, first of all, I'm a full-time student here. Mm-hmm. I major in psychology, minor in medical humanities, and I'm doing pre-med. I also work at the International and Experiential Education Department, <laughs> which is also a, a mouthful to say. Um, yeah, I'm, the, <laughs> I'm the Community Service Center Program Coordinator, and one of the things that we do on campus is the No Stress Tuesday event, which runs every single Tuesday, and we hope to see you there. Again, because we, we went <laughs> one time. Well, you they go. Missed, have you missed one yet? I've only missed two i think I david and julian always go but they forget to invite me so then i don't go but <laughs> now i'm fair, gonna go he's gone without me i have <sighs> yes without i've seen julian me, without telling me I, julia. i'm sorry <laughs> julia start to yeah, inform us i think the fans know we're all big fans of t-stress tuesday here so oh heck yeah yes. yes definitely so oh, we really appreciate yeah, you helping thank out thank you we couldn't couldn't plug it enough yeah, for yeah. Real. thank you my pleasure and um what else I was an orientation leader during the summer. Oh my that God, is true. Was that? that was really fun. I rate that experience. Okay, so actually, this is pretty interesting. I feel like becoming an orientation leader was a turning point in my, I feel like, not just, not academically, but like my school career, like mm-hmm. outside of um, classes. Mm-hmm. So my first year, I was not very involved in school whatsoever. I just went to class and I re- I primarily the reason why I didn't do anything was to do well in class because I do get distracted and I know that's one of my weaknesses. So, (laughs) so I was just, I'm not going to do anything on campus. I'm just going to go to class. But when I became an orientation leader over the summer, I got to meet so many 
I think about a thousand new students oh my God. and it was a whole array of like undergraduate, graduate, um, what else? Mm. I forgot. Oh, like transfer students, just like a whole bunch of people. And I really put myself out there and it was really fun. It was a very like rigorous training that we had during the summer. And the songs, oh, there was, it's like, I mean, that's say it, but like, um, it was hard. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of work. Um, but yeah, and it was kind of weird because that happened over the summer, like the orientation itself. And so when I came back my second year and people were saying hi to me and it was like the incoming freshman. And I was like, how do you know me? <laughs> like, uh, and I was so it, it was so off putting because first year I was like, kept my head to the ground. Like no one say hi to me. <laughs> like I'm going to class and going back home and I would commute. So I wouldn't even be at school from New Jersey, oh, we're in New from New Northern Jersey. Jersey. So ten a fly, ten, ten a fly. Oh, okay. It's in my Bergen parents, County. Yeah, yeah. My parents live in Rutherford. Okay. So it's is that like, that's like not too far away? Like ten a fly. I think it's like like is Teterboro. It? I think it's like forty five minutes. Uh, yes, away. yes, Jersey. Yes, yes, New Jersey. <laughs> no, but so it's like because I'm in Bergen. Like my parents are in Bergen. Bergen. Bergen County too. I didn't. I didn't Burger like grow County. up there. I only Burger like King. stayed there for like two years and stuff like that. Shout out to all our Jersey listeners. <laughs> yes, because you will yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know my Jersey photography. Photographer. Geography. Geography. I don't know my Jersey geography. You didn't take, but you thank didn't take you Jersey for, 101? Wait, how no, long have you I lived there then, Nicole? Yeah, how long have you lived in Jersey? I was born and raised born in Jersey. And raised. Yeah. And you don't even know? I, I know Rutherford is like quite the schlep from Tenafly. Okay. I know it's what like around. Like, like it's a long a, way. Like a long way. Oh. Like an hour, I feel oh. like. 36 minutes never mind oh you're you like really by opened your new map milford and new milford yeah Englewood. oh so you're like up up okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. up up yes <laughs> she's, she's up up can you get off your phone now thank you man i was this is a question <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding i'm kidding so, so i wouldn't spend much time on campus because i would be commute, commute yeah. yeah but um do you dorm now i dorm now yeah Yay. i recently started dorming dorming in october mid-october uh -huh. i'm glad i made the decision because i really wanted to get i got the last single <gasps> of riverside yeah. yes i really finessed that yeah. yeah um yeah i really True. wanted to get out of the house and now that i'm more involved because i feel like i owe it to orientation yeah i the commute is, yeah, 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 yeah and yeah, i yeah. get to be here more stay here longer or earlier mm, no i get to stay here longer <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and um yeah um, awesome. what else? Well, yeah, that's what I can think of right think now. Think of right um, now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, so we're obviously the usual. We have a list of questions to run down. Yeah. Okay. Of course, of course. Because, but the first question the is, interrogation is starts now. Yep. well, you said where you're from, T-Fly. T-Fly. Ten of fly. Yeah, we call it T-Fly, actually. T-Fly. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we call oh, it T-Fly, ride or die. Did you actually? <laughs> it literally <laughs> says T-Fly. Where? The thing is called T-Fly. What? Oh, wait, yeah. On what? Tenafly. fly. Tenafly, yeah. Tina fly. But we say tenafly, ride or die. T-fly, ride or die. All righty. <laughs> That's a cool one. Uh, yeah. So we call Rutherford Rofo, and I'm like... Uh, Rofo? Rofo? Rofo, because Rutherford is so long to say, so we say Rofo. Queens. We call Plain Edge, uh, Plain Edge, where I'm from. <laughs> we call Jersey City, Jersey City. Uh, <laughs> so, well, you're from T-fly, but mm -hmm. what's your nationality? I Nationality? Yeah. Your ancestry. Oh, okay. Because I think, I think nationality is where I'm from. Like yes. place of no, no, no. Like origin of like where I was born. Like my nationality would be okay, American. Okay, ethnicity. yes. Ethnicity, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my ethnicity. I'm Hispanic. Yes, I'm. <laughs> <Wolf heart>. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm half Colombian and Ew. half Ecuadorian. Hell You're yeah. Ecuadorian. Nice. Yes, Colombia. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! Why are you screaming in the mic? I have Ecuadorian friends. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah. Hi. No, no, I literally I don't no know Colombian a lot of Ecuadorian. Colombian friends, huh? no Colombian I have Colombian friends, friends too. Yeah. Really? I, don't, I know a lot of Dominicans because like no. I'm like half Dominican, half Ecuadorian. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like to come by Ecuadorians, like especially at NYC, I don't know a lot of I don't know any Ecuadorians at NYC. They avoid you at all costs. So. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm Indian, so I'm not Indian, so. <laughs> Anyway, so you're <laughs> Colombian and you're Ecuadorian, yes. and um, 
That's a nice mix. Okay, okay. So your first <laughs> <Suit generation. observation. laughs> That's a good mix. Yep. All right. <laughs> like she's a uh, dog or something. <laughs> half Shih Tzu, half like terriers. It's a good mix in there. It's a good mix. <laughs> no, because some people like they. Okay, Nicole, okay. just move on. Just move on. Okay. Are just you a first on. generation student? I I think so. Did yes. your parents go to college? Oh wait, wait. Well, no, because like her grandparents could have gone, and that wouldn't make it. Okay, but generation. did your my parents did no wait. My parents went to college. Okay. okay. So you're second, second generation. generation. So I'm second generation. Okay, so you're second generation. All right, that's nice. That's cool. Is that important to you? That my parents went to college? That you're a student and you're keeping that going? Um, I honestly, I feel like it hasn't really crossed my mind. I was like, I don't know. I was raised in like a town where everyone's parents came from, like went to college. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, in Tunafly, like, everyone's parents went to college. And so, and there weren't a lot of minorities. It was, like, predominantly half were white and half were Asian, um, Korean people. And so I was the minority, and so I didn't really feel that. And especially, like, if my parents didn't go to college, I feel like I would feel that more, but my parents did go to college. Yeah. So, but FASFA I feel like... must be easy with it for you, right? Or are you just what? doing FAFSA? FAFSA. FAFSA. I, FAFSA. 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 I, used, I, I say... FAFSA. Right, just come I said FAFSA. Yeah. Um, I still need to do my FAFSA. Three, three, three. You haven't done it. I, haven't I haven't done, done, done it. I know. I literally haven't did it when either. I was in <laughs> Texas. Wow. Nope. I haven't done mine either. So. Yeah, just like putting and it you off. You were literally saying like, oh, if you, uh, I heard if you do it sooner than you. It get has more been money. on my to-do list since October. Since it came <laughs> out, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's fine. You know, mm-hmm. you'll get there at one point. Uh, yeah, in like June. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's when I filed like, last like year's FAFSA. Yeah. So I you still gonna, have time to apply. Yeah, um, I was gonna, like, one of the questions were like, what year are you? You're obviously a sophomore. Yes. And then your major is psychology. Well, well, I, we don't know a lot of psychology majors. How's that on campus? Because they don't like, it's difficult yeah, at NYT, majors, right? Yeah. For the New York City. Yeah. I, I like hesitantly, I, I did psychology because even though the institution is accredited the major itself is not Mm. and so it's really i'm still like figuring out what to do about that yeah um putting that out there maybe that's why there aren't a lot of students who are majoring in psychology Uh um there is (laughs) to my knowledge one psychology professor melissa huey and the most yeah (laughs) i love her she's really good um i most of the psychology classes are online and i really don't like that when i was registering for my classes for spring semester it was really hard Hard. because i don't want to take an online class or right now i'm taking three online classes so it's really bad well i think it's bad personally i don't know it's it's harder for you to learn yeah Um, yeah. for sure i don't i've never had one but i don't think i could do it because they're yeah i don't like i'm a very like my hands on my hands on it yeah can relate to that, oh um, my God. but that must suck. Yeah. yeah. How's pre-med? It's a lot. I can only <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, but I'm genuinely considering, I think the reason why, like one of the reasons why I decided to do pre-med was because it was a lot. And so it kind of sets that discipline. But now that I've been here longer and discovering what I want to do, I'm really considering not doing it because there's other professions that, you know, still help people and help communities and yeah. you don't have to be like a doctor, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. I mean, that, like, this is what it's all about, like finding your way. Cause like, yeah. just because you like first sign up at something doesn't mean you have yeah. to like come through. Yeah. I used to be a second major. I wasn't even gonna do go pre med, but I couldn't do it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Uh, definitely was not everything. Wait, when were you a psych major? In my old school. Oh, For like okay. half a semester. After. And you know you, what, this is for me. So you transferred <laughs> out of that major? Yeah. To what? So um, just straight to film. Wait, what's your major now? Sorry. Uh, communication arts and media production. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're com arts? It's communications and media production. Not Whatever. Communications arts. Doesn't Wait, matter. are you com arts or film? <laughs> com arts. I'm com arts. I, why did I think you were a film student? Are you, you film? Asked I'm a film student. Why are you here? Oh, so both of you guys are com. communication. Okay. Yeah. Oh, why did I think you were? Okay, but yeah, what no. did you what did you do after psych? Liberal arts for a while, and then Liberal. I graduated with that degree. And mm-hmm. Now I'm back in com arts because they didn't have it where I was going. Oh. So. Um, if you decide to not pursue pre-med, like Mm -hmm. what are are you thinking of like subbing it out with something else or, um, I'm not sure. I mean, I would want to go into like public health, 
mm-hmm. or like international affairs. Like I really like that kind of stuff, and they don't offer it here. Mm-hmm. So I'm like I'm at New York City campus, or just oh in well, I haven't checked. I wouldn't want to go to the old Westbury campus. So I have. What's wrong with Long Island? Right? I, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously, because Manhattan. It's mm-hmm. Manhattan. Yeah, Long and I Island's and I came to the school <laughs> because it is in Manhattan. Exactly. So T. Oh, trust me. Yeah, you're preaching, Girl, you're preaching to the choir no. here. Believe me. <laughs> Yeah, so um, so I don't really know what I would. I don't know if I could substitute anything else. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, it's fine. Well, like now. Still let's, like up in the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm okay. still I'm still considering. Like, but it's what fine. To do. You know, you have time. But for now, let's talk about like your jobs on campus. Okay. So for the first one, the community service program coordinator from the international and experiential department. Tell us about that. Like, what do you do? What does your like, job consist of? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we basically get students civically engaged. And one of the events that we held was the national voter registration. Mm-hmm. So we got, I think, around 70 students registered on campus that day. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure the old Westbury campus, well, actually, I'm not sure. But I think the I think the old Westbury campus also held a registration. That's good. So yeah, uh, they what else? Um, <laughs> it's awkward pause. Um, <laughs> we'll just cut it out. We'll fill, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about some music it. or something. <laughs> the magic of editing. Like elevator music. Um, yeah, I mean, I we did talk about the No Stress Tuesday yeah. event. Mm-hmm. We we also that's also a part of the office. Yeah, no, that's fine. And um, then so oh, mm-hmm. talking about No Stress Tuesdays, how'd you come up? Like, how'd you guys come up with the idea that like that's what NYT students needed? I feel like that's since there was nothing to help alleviate stress for students, um, we came up with that idea. And I think we've had that event going on for quite some time. Yeah. And so yeah, I'm and. F- I handle the paperwork that comes with like the evaluations of what you think about the event Mm -hmm. and people have said that they like that there's an event like this on campus even though they don't go regularly which isn't really our goal necessarily but we want students to at least yeah know it's there and that there are resources available for Mm -hmm. if you want to you know go to meditation and get all the stress out yeah that's awesome though that's good when mm-hmm. i went there i was it, i went like that one time last week with the guys and it was nice it was calming because mm-hmm. like you you go through weeks like just like deadlines and stressing out and you yeah. never probably have like the real Take time a quick second to yeah really. yeah there was i think a couple of weeks in october i couldn't make the event and so someone had to sub in for me and that we and so since we only have it once a week I had to go like, I don't know, like 10 days or more without having that just one hour to myself. And I really felt a difference when I first walked into that, like um, into that position of doing this event. I took it seriously. I, I, yeah, I took it seriously. And I'm glad that I did because I do see a difference. And the instructor herself, Leticia, she said that well she was an architecture major and she said that it really helped her focus on her work and i was like mm, like i don't know like I, like, like we'll <laughs> yeah, see okay, you know <laughs> i i i was slightly skeptical but i still held faith in that like i wanted it to yeah. work you know it's not like i didn't believe in it or something um yeah and i'm i'm glad that i really not only like facilitated the event but i more like participated in it as yeah. well and so i'm really glad to to do it and Mm-hmm. to also be present you yeah. know and because that like means yeah. a lot like so you're the face of no Tr- stress tuesdays like because everybody talks about it and they're like oh like nicole Manette, she's the one in charge of it <laughs> so it's just like it's nice to know that like you for sure like believe in it and it's like more genuine yeah, it's, it's something it's you stand like, behind for sure yeah, yes. yeah. so yeah. congratulations you Thanks. did that <laughs> do you want to tell us about international education week now that we yes. started talking about IE. Yeah. okay so on monday we had the international week kickoff and we basically i i wasn't a part i wasn't at that table but i know that we had like posters on the wall about what you miss about home it was targeted towards international students so it was like what do you miss about home what do you like about the united states and questions like that and students got the chance to write their responses on those walls so that everyone can see and we also had a draw your flag and so everyone drew their flag it was really nice and there were two 
or maybe just one, but I know that there were Indian students who were doing henna at the table, and I got yeah, my I henna that. done, and it was Ooh. it was really fun. Yeah. I missed out. I really yes. wanted I kinda, a henna tattoo. Yeah, yes. I kind of did too. I, I did. We discussed that last <laughs> yeah. hour. I was like, oh, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's fine. What yes. else? Yeah, so what, that was what is yet to come for international education. So that that was only just One that week. week. Yeah. yeah. So it was. Do you have any upcoming events soon for Over international? The the, yeah, for the next. Yes. Month? I can. I Ooh, cannot. Oh, okay. oh, you so, can't disclose. I mean, them I can't yet? disclose that. That's classified, classified hey. information. Nicole. But it's fine. It's fine. It's no, fine. it's not classified. I just. I oh, wouldn't. No. No, can I go on my phone? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that was Monday on Tuesday. Actually, I am going to go on my phone. I really want to <gasps> talk about it in. Why are you going on your phone? Every, no, 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 no. For the calendar, for the calendar. Um, let's see. Town. Nope. You know, Shubong never went on his phone. Hmm. Just saying. Stop. Yeah. Neither did wow. Omer. <laughs> Neither did Omer. Or That's side, true. That side breed. Okay. So on Wednesday, that was the. Hold on. Okay. Um, so during that week, we also had a representative. It's His Excellency Mr. Francisco Lopez oh, Duarte. I saw that. Yeah. yeah, he was the he's the ambassador, like permanent ambassador of Portugal. Yeah, wow. he's a UN representative, and so that was super super cool. I was so grateful that I came to that event. I wasn't planning on going, but I was like, mm, like I'll go. It was a diplomatic. <laughs> the diplomatic event the diplomatic forum i'm really glad that i went and i got to meet them it was a really it was a good experience nice guy. and <laughs> was he a nice guy yeah <laughs> she's like oh. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no it's okay yeah. but anything else what else yeah. do you do on campus besides i i'm a peer health educator Ooh. i nice. which also goes hand in hand with the i just got reminded about that um i'm the peer health peer health educator i on campus yes or off campus off campus what do you do on your spare time my spare time (laughs) makeup (laughs) yeah i do my makeup i like to i don't know i feel like you can decorate yourself in so many ways i feel like it's really important the way that you present yourself yes and like your disposition and it's you don't really have to say anything like when you walk in a room and the way that you are dressed no matter like even if i was dressed differently like you would still have an opinion on it i I get that like (laughs) Mm-hmm. Just putting yourself together in a way the, to just like give off the energy that you feel you yeah. want to give off. So I get that. Um, yeah. You give off very warm vibes in your flannel and glasses. You're yeah, very okay. Pro- you're very approachable sure. and very friendly. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah, with the, with with the my bags under my eyes, down. the bags under my eyes, the line through my eyebrow, the constant like focused <laughs> look. No. I, I have no. A, I have mm-hmm. my cliche look apparently to Nicole. What? I don't know. Denim jacket, hat. Because that's what you wear. I mean, wear. that's what you do. He literally wears, like, you, you have a style. You have your flannel button-up shirts and your khakis and your eyebrow cut. You always wear khakis. Okay, well, your flannel, then you <laughs> have always a hat and a, a jacket and then some vans. I wear jackets, that's right. Yeah, your denim the jacket. Denim jacket. Guy. What do the I always jacket, wear? Um, okay, you can't, guys, if you want to pick on me, pick on me. <laughs> okay, to make it even. But, uh, yeah, what you, would you, say? you yes. make a good point. You're yeah, you make a good point I, about- actually, my makeup looks are inspired from the TV show Euphoria oh. on HBO. Oh, I haven't if watched that yet. It. It's really, that. really it's good. I was pleasantly I surprised. It. I thought it was, I don't know, I really don't know what I was expecting. The movie Waves that I'm going to watch, mm-hmm. she has the the girl that does her makeup, like mm-hmm. the way that you do your makeup, she's in this movie. Ooh. Yes. So check out that trailer. Wow. Oh, I just remembered. Okay. It's all coming back. All coming. <laughs> yes, it's all <laughs> just jogging memory. Okay. Um, I'm the secretary of the American Medical Student <laughs> Association. All right, Sorry, Nicole, say it again. The secretary it of the, the American State. Medical Student Association, the club. It's a mm-hmm. part of, mm-hmm. it's under the SGA. I, yeah, so we've done the blood drive. Mm-hmm. And actually there was something came up during the blood drive. So we had an incident where someone wrote on our banners on like one of our flyers and it had to do with the LGBTQ plus community. Mm. And so we, and this was, a, I think like two days before the actual blood drive itself. And so we couldn't really, ha- we couldn't coordinate because we wanted to coordinate with pride. And so we couldn't hold a meeting like in two days before the blood drive. So, but afterwards we did have a meeting with them and we, you know, discussed about what we can do next time for the blood drive because the, 
what happened like if you go on the red cross or some any kind of blood drive organizations there's a restriction that if you are a man who's had sex with a man in the last 12 hours then you're not or 12 months i'm sorry 12 months then you're not allowed to months. donate yeah what? and so it was it was very devastating honestly i think it was on i felt like because i didn't even know that was a restriction obviously and i felt a sort of privilege over that yeah. and so i was very like I was very devastated because of that. And we did have a meeting with Pride and we also attended their queer issues event and we spoke about HIV and um, things that we can do as students to like really talk about this more. Yeah. And even though it's like a federal law that uh, even a federal law and a restriction that is global, that is homophobic, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but despite that, we should still do something about it. And yeah, so, definitely. yeah. I never knew that. That's, yeah. that's wild. I yeah, and we, we didn't that know that either. And it was, yeah, so it was really a shock. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Wow. The more you learn, well, yeah. we should have more female guests because they smart out there. <laughs> they bring we know We know they <laughs> are. We didn't learn anything from Cybrene. We, 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 we need to make, <laughs> we're going to make some progress on that in the yeah, future. Yeah, definitely. Um, scouting more. So, yeah. as we do with every guest, every new guest that we have on, uh, we like to try to get them to imagine where they'll be in oh, I was lost about in about where five years. Going. So you'll you'll have graduated from the university. Wow. Um, I just got my bag. Sorry. You'll have your degree, your bachelor's. Um, Knock on and oh, she'll, you're gonna get your bachelor's. Um, <laughs> jinx anything, brother. <laughs> anyway, Knock on you'll the be board. out in the world. You'll be a graduate. Um, where do you see yourself? What do you see in five doing? years? What do you see yourself like aiming for mm -hmm. once you have that degree and like you're using that towards employment or like trying to further your education even more? Like, what do you see yourself doing? That is an, that's a great question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a really and good I question. I'll come back to you. On that. <laughs> <laughs> that's on a that circle. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> if you um, don't have an answer, it's fine. Just be like, you know, I just. Where hope. would you like to see yourself? Yeah. Um, With a I'm trying career. to think of my like. Truly, like honestly, instead of it as like an interview question, like, oh, I see myself as like yeah, president of the United not, States. We're not interviewing you for a position. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, we don't have an open. Yeah, we're just going to do it. Oh my God, imagine. Julie would um, get jealous and then he would just, he wouldn't, he, actually, I'd, that's, I'd his, leave. That's, that's his side. I'd yeah, leave. We couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But it's fine. Um, in five years, what year would that be? 20, 20, 24, 20, 25. 24, 25, yeah. 2024. Yeah. 20, I'll Let's be. Let's say 2025 because this year is like almost over. Okay. I'll be 25 years old. Wow. Okay, what's, what's wrong with that guy? No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> um, She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I really... I hope that I see myself... Um, I'm not sure. I feel like I, I hope I see myself helping people. I hope I see myself um, still with my family. I feel like I've, and also since I've moved to the dorms, I've naturally lost contact with them and they are very supportive. And so I don't want to like leave them, like live my life, but also leave the people that have supported me my whole life behind. Um, so I would want to see them in my future. Um, I actually haven't thought about that. I feel like it's I'm just taking. Canvas. It's not. I just want to point canvas. out. It's kind of like what you're saying about your family. Like it's hard. Like when you're in college and like you're dorming and you're like actually active in school, balancing school, social life, and like home life is just like a really hard thing to do. Because I know like for me, like my parents and like my family get so upset. They're like, "You're not around. Like you yeah. should be around." Like I get so much crap for it every <laughs> time I go. Like home like it's either someone saying like i don't see you enough like or i don't see you often like you literally forgot about it and like all this stuff and i'm like oh, oh my god like, I'm, in college. <laughs> I'm like, like doing my own stuff yeah like yeah. i don't dorm i live with my aunt and then like I'm so when a podcast. I, so, yeah like <laughs> but like you know like when i go back like to like brotherford and like i see all my family or like my cousins and they're just like why yeah like, and the know? commute itself like it that's it's also hard. draining i yes, feel that's why i my well now that i'm at the oh, dorms um it was it was More? about an hour. Yeah. It wasn't like that 
much bad, longer as like people who live but being in the, on the but being on like a bus or like a train for so long after like school and like such a long yeah. week then it like gets to you and you're just like Ugh. yeah that was a, that was a main like contributing factor as well as to why i wanted to move because even if i like okay so if i left port authority at nine i would be home at 10 and for that my parents is like that's too late yeah. because they would have to pick me up like they would drive to the right. bus stop and pick me up mm-hmm. and because they wouldn't want me to walk by myself at yeah. like 10 p.m yeah um and i was like it's fine like it's not even it's not nothing happens here it's not a bad area but like i do appreciate their concern and yeah, like yeah. them wanting to help me in whatever sure, way yeah. they can but it's hard on everybody yeah and it, that's why yeah it's it Just was better to dorm if stay closer yeah so. props so to people who still commute i want to keep like their connection connections in your life mm-hmm. like in the future yeah, yeah. Bond, because yeah. not only have like naturally i've lost contact and i've been doing my own stuff it's more like i also do want to separate that connection because i want to be my own person Mm -hmm. really figure myself out and not have the like preconceived notions of who you are yeah from them and so i do want i did want that separation Mm -hmm. like i did not want to be under their roof all the time and under their rules and do your own thing yeah so i hope that i don't go too far in that and still have that connection in five years that's like uh, yeah that's a I do not, I could not picture myself living in my parents' house, like, you know, coming home late. Yeah. And then it's just like, if you want to go out, like, now you can't go out. You got to stay home. Yeah. And, and it's hard for anybody because, like, living at home, it's just not the easiest thing, especially, like, when you're, when your parents, like, either if they care or not care, it's just like. Yeah. Yeah. So we get you. We understand. <laughs> well, hopefully all your wishes come true. Those are goals. Goals. great goals to have. Yeah. yeah. Goals, Thanks. not wishes. Wishes, goals, whatever, whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah. Wrap it up. I mean, yeah. So wrap what, it up. I think all, that's a good we, place what, to. What are we all thankful for, guys? Before we. Oh, <gasps> yes. Good, good I love that. Oh, please, stop, please start. Wait, us you, off. no, no, no. You, no, no, you, no, 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 no. Ladies no, no. first, please. Ladies first. You please. went. Uh, you were last for the introductions. You right. should be first for this. Wow, yeah. First. See what I used to say that I was thankful for uh, Marlboro and Budweiser, and that's literally it. But I don't smoke anymore, and I don't <laughs> really drink Bud good. anymore, really. So um, I'm thankful for the podcast. I'm thankful for uh, going to school out here. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. Okay. And also Jose Cuervo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, we're going backwards. You took that laugh. Like, <laughs> wow. Um, thankful for the podcast. Um, thankful answer, for right? my friends, my family. Um, thankful for my professors who support me in all my ridiculous creative you endeavors. You Demonte Let Sherwin. Let him be thankful, please. Um, and I'm thankful that change is constant. I mean, like just being able to continue to work on myself as a person and um, advocate for change, like in my community, um, in the government, like, yeah. That's been a big part of my year, um, just Having a ad- advocating for things that I believe in more often. So yeah, definitely thankful for that. That's my answer. All right. right. Um, I'm thankful for a lot. Um, Obviously, the podcast. I'm so glad that I told I told Dave. I was like, "Why don't we start a podcast?" And then we reached out to Julian, and we were like, "Let's do it." And then we did it. Yes. Yes. So then we did it. My drunk ass was like, "Yeah." (laughs) (laughs) So I'm definitely glad for this because we've met so many like great people on campus. Like you know. you know all that good stuff. Uh, the news, <laughs> the newspaper. I'm so grateful for that. Pick up the new issue now, yo. Because uh, we're letting um, students express like what they have to say in the newspaper. Because it isn't the New York Times. We're not talking about what's happening in other places. We're talking about what's on campus, and that's really good. I really love that. Um, so grateful for all my professors. I love you, John Kim. I love you, Devante. <laughs> I love you, Sherway. I don't know if you listen, but I love you. Uh, all my other professors that I forgot their names, but you was out there. Oh, Jaffe, the real one who supported us through our journey here. Yeah. Um, and then I'm thankful for my family, mom, 
Pam, my brothers, my parents, blah, blah, blah. My kill, kill C for not kicking me out when I cut her <laughs> hair. I cut my aunt's hair to her ears <gasps> and she didn't kick me out. And I was like, Wait, did she <laughs> like willingly? Like she wanted you to cut her no, hair? No, she wanted me to cut it to her shoulders. Oh. And then I cut it to her ears. Oh, yikes. I cut it. it, it, it. Bad? <laughs> bad. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't bad. It's, she was really pretty. She's really pretty regardless. Um, <laughs> for my friends. Nice save. Nice save. Yeah. <laughs> my friends, everybody. And I'm grateful for all these learning experiences experience because so much has happened and i know i feel like i'm i'm smarter wiser all that good stuff harder but. better faster stronger yay all right nicole <laughs> to wrap it up to end us okay. off yeah what yes. are you thankful for nicole i am thankful for so much i am thankful for my family they have been there for all of my for all of everything i've done uh, since, you were born. since I was born, they've been there. <laughs> they showed up for my birth. Um, <laughs> oh, too for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm thankful for my friends. I feel like they really push me, and I'm thankful for. Um, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm thankful for a lot of people. I know Career Services held an event to write thank you notes to people you're thankful for, and I, I wrote to a lot of people here. Oh. Um, in this room here. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> Julian, Julian. Yeah, it's Nicole. in my bag over there. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna go around and read off. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really thankful for saying yes to a lot of stuff. I feel like there's, well, maybe not just like people, but me in the past who have said no because either I don't have en enough experience or I don't know or I'm scared or I don't want to do it or all yeah. any for any reason like any excuse honestly um so I'm glad I said yes to a lot of the opportunities that have presented themselves and I'm thankful for my changed mindset because I feel like I've grown into a different person mm -hmm. and a person that doesn't say no to myself I feel like when I was when I was asking my dad if I should do something and I was like no like never mind they're gonna say no and he's like why are you gonna why are you saying no to yourself yeah. like there's gonna be a lot of people in your life that are gonna say no to you you have to say yes to yourself you yeah. know and so I really took that to heart and I I yeah I let other people say no like I always ask like you never know if I got this from Miriam, she is a career advisor at mm -hmm. Career Services, and she told me, um, you never know when you'll be the exception until you ask. And so... Oh, we I got really some wise yeah. out here from Nicole. Yeah, yeah. we should write writing stuff down. <laughs> some wise, some wise stuff right here. I'm a tattoo yeah. bit. <laughs> right on your forehead, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'm really thankful for all the people that have believed in me, that have pushed me to do a lot of work, even like if it's my within my job description to do these events and to mm -hmm. do a lot of stuff like I am thankful that they believed in me and that they made me do those things they made me push my own boundaries and to keep going no matter what oh heck yeah guys we gotta believe we're out here that's that's the way you end a podcast yeah. right there yeah. I mean, oh, like, yeah. geez. what are we gonna do next week Jesus. <laughs> yeah we can't <laughs> oh, we can't top moly. this <laughs> just keeps getting better guys Anyway, right, so, yeah. Right. So uh, we'll David, catch you next week. Up. Nicole, thank you very much for coming on the show this Ms. week. Miss Nicole Menendez, thank, thank you, you so wow. much for having you guys me. Enjoy, or at least hopefully you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Um, you we'll better. We'll hopefully see you at the live event this Tuesday. This Tuesday, December. This 2nd. coming Tuesday, um, December second. Look around for posters; they are on campus. Uh, yes. You'll you'll see them on Monday, the day before, and you'll also see them Tuesday. And also, climate rallies. Yes. Go to them. November 29th. Get your voice heard on Black Friday. You'll, this episode comes out after that ends, so you won't hear it then. But December 6th, noon to 3 p.m., City Hall. Uh, RSVP, there's going to be a link in the description. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening. Don't come to Vans. Go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, my name is David <laughs> Gustavo Contreras. I don't know what that was. My name is Nicole Miranda. My name is Julian West. And my name is Nicole Menendez. And this is Manhattan's Voice. Bye, guys.